Hello, my friends. In the Smoglink project, I am finishing the multi-part project of the M1132 Stryker ESV Engineer Squad Vehicle with SMP, AMP, Surface Mine Plow in scale 1 to 35 from Trumpeter. I want to add more details on the vehicle, so I prepared a few items off screen such as these jerrycans that I will paint with khaki. This net that I painted green. A couple ammo boxes. These tent fabrics. Bags and backpacks that I did with primer. And last but not least, these three paper boxes from the kit cocky painting, and I will finish off camera. Attention! Keep always in mind that after gluing, painting, etc., to let things dry. Painting 2, maybe 3 items with ochre, 2 coatings, 1 off camera. Same process with Kaki. Forest Green. They are ready. Super gluing.
Attaching the kit's wire. cutting and then placing two pieces of this dried baby wipe in order to make couple canvas covers for the vehicle's side cases. Even though the kit includes stripes to use as belts, straps, etc., I don't like it because it's glossy. Making my own straps using masking tape. Marking and cutting at 1mm and we'll finish off camera. Gray. One coating is done, second coating off camera. Doing one stripe, and the rest will do off camera. super gluing some of the stripes, of which I have cut shorter to fit my needs. Finish those stripes off camera. Attaching more straps to these metallic D-ring hooks that I had done off camera. More straps. I will use some PVA glue, mixed with just a tiny little bit of water, for a more liquid form, in order to be able to give the illusion of canvas covers. Depending on how much the baby wipe will absorb, maybe I will do two coatings. I pull this part here a bit, in order to give it a better shape. 
We'll finish both sides and a second coating off camera. We'll be placing barbed wire in scale 1 to 35. wrapping the barbed wire and we'll be super gluing it. Painting with matte aluminum. More straps. with a mix of forest green and green base, doing some very light chipping, mostly on the hatches and such. Same process but with olive brown and dark sea grey. the covers with a mix of light green and dark green. We'll finish off camera. The story so far. Enamel dark washing. Fixing mistakes with enamel thinner. Keep repeating the process.
This is the advantage of working with oil paints. You are able to fix your mistakes quick and easily. Same process but with brown wash. the enamel dark washing. Back to fixing mistakes with enamel thinner. some light weathering with dark earth pigment powder. Done with weathering and gluing the tires, we'll finish off camera. Attach the front part off camera. The story so far. I will clear the front part a bit more, but first, metallic gray dry brushing. super gluing antennas that I made off camera because the kit didn't have any. Gluing the gun with Tamiya's extra thin cement fast setting. All things considered, family, work, vacations, major YouTube disappointment, etc. It took me only four months to complete this project. So, expect my next one to be ready sometime next year. Hopefully you like the project, and you will enjoy the presentation. Because I love this amazing art, and I strive to be better, please do help me by sharing your words of wisdom in the comments below.
hit the like, subscribe and notifications bell buttons. This way, together, we can grow a community around the exciting art of scale modeling. Stay tuned for more scale modeling videos. Thanks for watching.